Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video is we're gonna learn about how to make an image move in Canva. So before we go ahead and show you how to make an image move using Canva in here, which is just a super easy and straightforward process, let's gonna go ahead first and do a quick overview onto what is Canva. So just a quick overview regarding the platform. If you're not familiar with this, it is an online graphic design that enables users to effortlessly create a wide range of visual content. So whether you're actually a beginner or a seasoned designer, Canva offers a user-friendly interface with a drag and drop functionality, making it accessible to everyone. So this platform provides a diverse set of tools and templates for designing presentation, social media graphics, posters, documents, and many more. So Canva in here also features a robust video editor, allowing users to edit videos and add animation and create dynamic visual content. So with a fast library of images, icons, and fonts, and customizable elements, it empowers individuals and businesses to express their creativity and design professional looking materials without the need for advanced design skills. So this platform is available both through a web browser and a mobile app, making it convenient for users to design on the go. So as you can see, it has been loved by millions of people around the globe. So it has 135 million plus monthly active user, 100 million plus content library, 15 billion plus designs created, 100 plus languages, and 85% of the Fortune 500 uses Canva. So in here, it also offers a free version with a plethora of features and users can opt for a paid subscription for additional premium elements and functionality. So you could create millions of free assets in here, design better together since you could go ahead and design together with your team. And there are many more features such as these things in here. So for you to be able to view in the different plans and pricing, so you could opt in for a free plan, which is for anyone to design anything on their own with family, friends, and others with no experience needed. But if you want to go ahead and upgrade your plan, we have here is Canva Pro for individuals, solopreneurs, and freelance designers who want unlimited access to premium content to create professional designs with ease and scale their productivity. So you could actually start a free trial with Pro so that you could view what it offers and if you would like its um, features, then you could go ahead and try subscribing on it by monthly or yearly. So. As you can see in here, these are the different designer templates that it offers. And for you to be able to get started in here, you'll just have to create an account if you don't have one yet. And if you have already, just simply click on to log in. Now, as you can see, we are currently already onto Canvas dashboard. So there are different tools that you could see in here. And we're currently onto the home section. Here onto the home section, you should be able to see in here a thing that says what will you design today so you could search your content in here or canvas template that you could use for your design so there are different examples here as well such as documents if you want to do that whiteboards presentation social media and many more so you could choose from a custom size in here or upload an image as per your liking so scrolling down further you should be able to see also the recent design that you have onto your account and here onto the left side we should be able to see magic studio which is a feature that they offer so this is actually new since this is ai powered and it brings together the best ai powered tools for you and your team right inside canva so a little gist of it you also have the magic ai apps in here when you could go ahead and have the magic grab make any image editable just like canva template magic expand to use ai to generate and extend any scenery and also it will make your editing effortless so there are many more features in here that you could go ahead and try to explore using magic studio so here onto projects you should be able to see the recent designs that you have some templates in here or the different templates that it offers so that you could use it onto your own design and it is actually categorized as per its category in here so you could have it by business social media education and many more now going back we also have the brand in here 
the app so that you could go ahead and integrate some apps onto your design in here so here are some of the apps that are trending we have doll a so that you could generate realistic images in art using ai Imagine so that you could turn your text into photorealistic AI images and shade to create dynamic palettes to enhance your design. Now, going back, we also have classwork in here and trash so that if you have deleted a design, it will go ahead in here and you could pull it out again. So to get started on to creating an image moving in Canva, we're going to go ahead and click on to create a design. So we could actually edit a photo immediately for this, but we're going to go ahead and try to use an a custom size in here so that we could choose the width and height so that we could go ahead and create our design to get started so as you can see i have created a design already and for the size of this to be square i've used 80 by 80 px for this one so we are redirected here onto the editing page where it gives us an option to go ahead and edit our canvas so to make a moving image using our design in here so we're going to start first onto adding a video so we're gonna utilize a video onto the background in here so that it would use as a design to move our um, image so as you could see here onto the left side these are the different tools that we could use we could actually use a pre-made template in here we also have the elements we could add in a text a brand we could upload a photo or a video draw projects and apps so we're gonna go ahead and try to click on to upload in here and you could upload an image or a video in here or an audio so that you could add it onto your design and for us to be able to get started the first thing that we'll add is a video so we're gonna start on to adding elements in here so we're gonna go ahead and try to search for moon so we're gonna go ahead and try to add in a moon design and for us to be able to get started on to adding a video we'll click on the video in here so as you can see, there are a lot of uh, different videos that it offers. So we're going to choose which one we want to add onto our design. So for example, we're going to go ahead and try to add this one. So as you can see, this one is actually perfect since as you can see, it is moving. So kind of like how this one turned out, we could go ahead and try to resize it so that it should look like this onto our design. And then right after, once it is added, it should actually look like this. So you could add in some elements, just like some birds, or you could add in some photos that you want to add in here so that it should look like moving. So for example, we'll see a photo of a bird just like this. So if we put it like that, so it seems that it was moving since the moon was moving at its back. So if we click onto the play button in here, it seems that your photo is also moving so we could add in some text also in here so that to add some variation so we could add in a moon in here we could make it a little bigger like that also we could move it here onto the middle part so if you click like that as you can see it is just more like a photo with something moving on its background so the moon that we have added is just like a background onto the photos that we have added we could also add in a photo of a cloud so we're gonna search back here onto elements for cloud or a cloud photo that we could add in in here to add more design so so you can see here are some of the choices we could add it here onto the bottom part like that and then we could also copy that one out and move it here onto the upper part just like this so this is what our photo look like and we're gonna go ahead and hit play and as you can see it has already a moving effect at the back so it is more like just a photo in here with the clouds a bird and a text and it is moving on its background since we added a video or integrated a video with our photo so right after that you'll just have to um, do a quick preview and once you're already satisfied hit onto the share button here onto the upper part and then right after you'll have the option to download this so you'll have the option to download it onto a um, format that you like so we have mp4 in here so that you should be able to download it more like a video but we have also svg or png in here for images and illustration and gif so you'll just have to click onto which one you want to do click on to download and you could also move in the quality for that one and then just simply hit on to download to save it onto your device and that's just basically it onto making an image move in canva if you think that has been helpful don't forget to hit the like 
subscribe, and we'll see you on your next video.